Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to Bootstrap tutorial number two. And in this video, we are going to take a look at how to install Bootstrap onto our web page using a CDN. And if you guys are unfamiliar with a CDN or if you don't know what CDN stands for, then uh, CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. And a CDN is basically a server that hosts all of the bootstrap files that you want to use uh, and it hosts them externally. So you don't ever have to worry about uh, people editing your bootstrap files or uh, deleting your bootstrap files by accident because they are not on your server. They're actually on a CDN server. And uh, that's just one of the advantages of using a CDN. The other advantage is that it's really easy to implement uh, bootstrap files or bootstrap using a CDN. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to implement bootstrap on your local server or on your local host. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at how to download bootstrap or just how to get the CDN code. And uh, what you want to do is go over to getbootstrap.com and uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And when you arrive on that website, you should have this big purple banner with a big download button in the middle. And that is over here. Okay. If for some reason the bootstrap site doesn't look like that when you get there, it's either because you're on the wrong website hit or uh, maybe bootstrap has changed in between the time that you're watching this video and the time that I recorded it. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on download. And when you do that, you should land up on a page that looks kind of like this. Now the reason why I already had this page open was because my internet is really slow. And I wanted to be able to get this code without waiting for that twirly loading circle to load for a hundred years. Okay, so I just figured it would be easier to open the page before the video uh, and that way I don't have to waste a lot of time waiting for the page to load. Okay, so you'll see that we've got on this page a bootstrap CDN and a whole bunch of links that we can uh, use in our code. Uh, okay, and the first link is a link to the latest compiled and minified CSS. So that is the actual bootstrap file that we want to use. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab that. Okay, we also want to use this optional theme. So this is optional, you don't have to use it if you don't want to, it's just going to add all the like bootstrap colors. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this theme as well. And it's just going to make sure that we've got a few uh, colors or I don't want to say colors, but yeah, we've just got something on the website that looks like it's been styled instead of uh, just having some unstyled elements because all this file is really going to give us is the grid, this first file over here. Okay. And uh, the last file is bootstraps. JavaScript. Okay. And that is a minified JavaScript file that is going to give us all the cool JavaScript functionality like that uh, bootstrap modal that I showed you in the previous video. Okay. So what we want to do is actually just copy all of this. I'm going to go ahead and say copy. And now we need to paste it in our HTML file. So if I go back over to my desktop over here, you can see that I've got a folder called tutorial one implementing bootstrap. Okay. And that's the tutorial that we're doing now. It's actually not tutorial one, it's tutorial two. Uh, so Quinton, get with the program and name your files right next time. Okay. And inside of that folder, we have an index.html file. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and open up my text editor. And because I'm using a Mac, I'm using sublime text. So I know this looks a little bit different because I've always been using Notepad++ and now I'm using Sublime, but hey, Notepad++ doesn't work on OS X, so I had to find an alternative. Okay, and if we take a look at this HTML file over here before I paste in my links, 
you can see that I've got all the basic stuff that you would expect to have in an HTML file. So I've got my doc type, I've got my HTML tags, my header tag, my body tag, uh, inside there my meta tag to make sure that my website's Unicode. You always want to go ahead and include that. Okay. And uh, then I've got my title, which is just uh, optional. Okay. But <laughs> Bootstrap the CDN way. It kind of relates to what we're doing over here. And then I've got all these links over here. And uh, as you can see, the first link says, this is where we link the CDN CSS files. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in those uh, files that I downloaded. Okay, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit tab and indent those correctly. So the first one, like I said, is bootstraps functionality or CSS functionality. The second one is the actual theme. So the look and feel of bootstrap. And this last one over here is actually a JavaScript file. So I want to go ahead and remove that uh, for now. And I'm going to paste that JavaScript file or that JavaScript link down at the bottom of the page. And for some reason, I lost the link. So let me go over to uh, here, just control C. Uh, I think the reason why is because I hit um, cut twice over there and then I landed up cutting a blank line. Okay, so let me indent that correctly. And that is our bootstrap JavaScript file down here at the bottom. Uh, but we need one last CDN file for all of this to work and that is a jQuery file. Now the reason why we need that jQuery file is because all of this functionality that we use in uh, Bootstrap's JavaScript file actually requires jQuery. Okay, so I'm going to jump back over to my browser and I'm going to leave a link to this website in the description but this is just Google's CDN version of jQuery. So uh, go ahead and go to this web page, click on jQuery. It's going to scroll you down the page to a jQuery uh, link. And we've got jQuery version 1.11.2. That is the version we're going to want to take. So don't worry about version 2. It's not that it's a newer version of jQuery, it's just that. Uh, version 2 doesn't support Internet Explorer 8 or 9, and I don't think it really matters, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one, just in case any of you guys are using an old browser. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and paste that over here. Okay, and make sure that you paste your jQuery file above your Bootstrap JavaScript file, otherwise you're going to hit a few errors and you're going to wonder why it's not working. Uh, and the reason is because you probably mix these two around. Okay, you definitely need your jQuery file above the bootstrap JS file. So just make sure you do that. And um, yeah, now we've got all our of our files in place. Now what we've got to do is actually test to see if bootstrap and uh, bootstraps JavaScript is actually working. So what I want to do over here is replace this we code here with some actual code that I write. And um, what we can do just to test that everything is working is actually add an input or not an input, but let's make a button and end this button off. And Sublime actually finishes the tag for me. I need to get used to that. I still haven't gotten used to that. And uh, I'm just going to say, click me. And I want to give this button a class that is equal to btn and btn dash success. And if Bootstrap is working correctly, we should land up with a green button on our website. So I'm going to hit Control S and um, let's go ahead and actually open this up in Firefox. So let me say open with Firefox and this is probably going to take a little bit of time to load because my internet is horrendous. 
and I'm back and uh, yeah this page is actually still loading it's been about two minutes this is why I made sure I opened up those other pages before I started coding um, or before I started recording the video but now you can see that bootstrap is indeed working because we do have this green button over here and that is following the bootstrap optional theme so if you guys uh, didn't use this optional theme you might not land up with a green button that's all I'm saying okay and um, yeah now that we've got bootstrap actually working what we can do is actually test the JavaScript or uh, jQuery files over here and to test if the jQuery file is actually working what we're gonna do is add an on click attribute so I'm gonna say on click uh, just like that and we'll set that equal to dollar brackets this dot hide and uh, open close brackets ex uh, semicolon okay and what this does is on click it hides this button okay so go ahead and save that and refresh this in your browser I actually went ahead and <laughs> refreshed this already so now if we uh, click on this the button hides and that way we know that jQuery is actually working so jQuery and bootstrap are working and now we are good to go and um, move on to the next video so as always don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment and uh, like the video and share this video it's really going to help my channel grow and i will see you guys next time